Okay, so what we're gonna go over today is the glute, hamstring, and lower back super circuit. And what does this mean? This is a huge circuit that I've used with tactical people, including fire, police, military, and even general populations. Why? Because these areas, most people have one predominant or all weaknesses. And we need to learn how to train them smart, meaning the exercises that I'm gonna show you today are ones that are not gonna put adverse pressure on your lower back. Now, going through this and you're not very strong, it's probably gonna feel like your back's gonna explode. But let's get to it and let's see some big exercises for these different muscle groups. The first exercise that we have used a ton of, and we have a bunch of videos, so go on the YouTube channel if you don't know what this is, but every gym needs to have a reverse hyper. Why? There's just really no replacement for it. It builds the lower back up, it kind of brings new fluid into the disc, it's traction based, which if you don't know what that is, go look at the other videos as well, and it's going to build the low back, the glutes, and the hamstrings all in one nasty rip. So let's see how it works. You're going to come till it's right off the side of the hip. You're going to raise it till you're about parallel with the floor. And you're going to squeeze it up, focusing here, here, and in the hamstrings, here. This is an ultimate posterior chain builder. They call it a posterior chain because all these muscles are connected. You must have this exercise in your regiment at least two times a week if you want strong glutes, strong lower back, and strong hamstrings. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do is the 45 degree back extension, but we're going to put a twist on it. So Harvey's going to have his feet out super wide. This is called a sumo 45 degree back extension. This is going to allow him to use a little bit more glute than lower back. A wider stance is going to hit the upper glute, a lot of that shelf that the girls are trying to build up, but it's also super important for massive deadlifts and big squats. So you're going to need some resistance with this to be pretty good once you get stronger. So he's going to hold it up against his chest, and he's going to keep his shoulder blades pinched like a, yep, there we go. Now he's going to lean over, bending at the hips, keeping his back linear, and he's going to straighten up. A lot of 45 degree back extensions don't have this wide of a base. Try to find one that does, and you're going to notice that it's going to smoke your glutes. But it's still working the hamstring and the lower back. This is one of my top exercises that we do with tactical populations based on the fact that we can get the lower back super strong without any adverse compression to the spine. Now the next exercise is a lot more advanced, but this is the glute ham raise machine. So the glute ham raise machine is going to hit the calf, the hamstring, the glute, and the lower back. It is probably one of the most beneficial exercises you can do, but you're going to have to build up to do it. So he's going to show us how we do this. It's going to be five reps. So he's going to cross his arms. Good. He's going to go all the way down until he stretches out. He's going to come up nice and smooth, and then he's going to bend the knee, and he's going to curl himself up. Voila. A lot easier seen than done, but after a while, you'll be able to build up and get strong enough to do these, and it won't be that bad. So this is how you do a glute ham raise. Straighten the legs all the way out, then you bend, and you lay curl yourself up. A lot of people that we have in the tactical units they can't even do one of these, tend to have very, very easily messed up lower backs and very easily messed up knees. This needs to be very, very strong in these areas. Now, if you're not strong enough to do a full GHR, you're just gonna do a partial. So he's gonna go all the way down and he's just gonna come up to parallel right there. So we start here and build this up. So he's gonna try to squeeze his ass as hard as he can to pick himself up. Do this until this is so easy, it's not a big deal. Then you combine this exercise with leg curls and the leg curls and all of it combined are gonna allow you to do this exercise. The next big exercise we're gonna use is just your standard glute bridge. So he's gonna drop his ass to the floor, raise his ass to the ceiling. This is a good exercise for all the posterior chain and the glute. We're actually gonna make a variation of this to be able to hook into the belt squat to use for maximal resistance. That'll be on the next series of the belt squats. But you can also do this single-legged if you have short on equipment or you just don't like putting stuff on your hips, which can be very uncomfortable. So as you can see, this is a lot of hip activation, a lot of glutes, and can make you very, very strong. Now, a variation of all of these exercises should be included in almost every lower body workout that you do. If you don't have these exercises or this equipment, I highly suggest you save up because for some of these exercises, there is no better replacement, and there's nothing I can tell you to do other than these movements. So. If you have any questions on this type of stuff, go on winningstrength.com 
or join the Patreon channel and take a look at all the other exercises we have for lower body and developing the hamstring, the glute, and the lower back.